Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh from LearnAutomation.com. In this video tutorial, uh, we'll talk about how to automate mobile native application, or you can say hybrid application on real devices using Selenium. So, uh, without wasting much time, uh, let me go through high-level agenda. So, I will download one APK file first. So, this APK file is nothing but the actual app that we are going to test. So if you are working with Android devices, we generally download or uh, you install any application from Play Store, right? So uh, since we do not have access for uh, Play Store, we will download the APK file directly from the internet. And once we are done with downloading part, we'll install the same APK file that is your application. So we'll install via ADB on our real device. Then we'll start APM server. So this APM server will extract some details uh, that is required to run your automated test. And once you will get the details, we'll finally write a small program that will launch that application and it will do some operation. So uh, this is the site, cylindroid.io setup HTML. So you will get one uh, dummy application from here. So if you click on this, it will download one small APK file, Selenroid test app. So you will get this app. Okay, it's almost 784 KB and extension is .apk. So for Android, you will get extension is APK and for iOS devices, you will get IPA file. Since we are discussing only Android as of now. So this is the app which you have to install. So start a command prompt and to install this in your device, I already connected my device through one software. So this is my real device, Android 4.4. I will type ADB install. So this is just one command to install any application on your device. And before uh, installing this, let me check. I will say ADB devices. Yes, my device is connected. Then I'll, I will type adb install and you need to specify which app you want to install. I have three applications as of now, but I will show you this Android one and hit enter. So you will get this uh, permission denied. That's fine. Uh, and now you can see it is asking installs. Install this. And you can see the success message is coming. It means this application has been installed. So if you want to check, yeah, this is the app, Cylindroid one. If you open this app, it is just a simple app which has some default element, which generally we do, right? Click, type, check boxes. If I type anything here, Mukesh, if you click on this directory, it will again give you some form and different things. So that's fine. Uh, the app has been installed. Now you need to go back to your APM. So this is my APM. I have not started this server. So the next thing which you have to do, you need to click on this Android icon and you need to, uh, yeah, before um, uh, starting, you need to do all this because if you start the server, all these options will be disabled. So make sure Selenium server is uh, off and in the application path, you need to select the application which you want to test. So I have selected this, okay, uh, that is same Selenroid one. And right now you can see I am getting some package, wait for package, launch activity, wait for activity. For you, it will be initially blank, but once you start this APM server, it will take some time to start this. Yeah, it has been started and it is running on port number 4727. By default, it takes 4723. So for you, it will be 4723. And once you start this, all this value will be populated. And you can see all these options are disabled now because this has been already, uh, you can say, uh, once server is up, you cannot edit these things. So we want this package and we want this launch activity. 
so selenium will get to know which activity to start and which package to deploy okay so this is my device and now let me go to the code so if you have visited my previous tutorial we already discussed this desired capability as of now what you need to do you need to set some desired capability let me give some space yeah so start uh, creating an object of desired capability and before this desired capability I have started one Android driver so right now it is uh, initialized to null because it's a global variable so once you create object of desired capability you need to set one capability browser name even though we are not working on browser but you need to set it to blank then device name so device name I will set my Android platform version I'm working on 4.4.2 so I have given the exact platform version then platform name is Android now this is the most crucial part you need to set two things app package and app activity so you will get this detail from that APM so let's search for app package so if you go back to APM and if you click on this Android icon this is your app package io.cellandroid.testapp so I simply copied and pasted here next thing you want is app activity so again I went to this APM and I copied this launch activity dot home screen activity that's all then you need to start Android server so driver equal to new Android uh, driver new URL you need to specify the IP address as of now I'm running locally so it's 127.0.0.1 port number WD hub and capability so this capability whatever we have created I assigned here so if you run this piece of code itself it will launch an application but I'm working something else here uh, I have set one timeout for five seconds then I want to type something called Mukesh Selenium APM so if you go to my device if I open this Selenroid app I have this editor right here I can edit name so here I want to type something then I will click on this directory so it will launch this so the toughest part in this uh, APM one to find the X path and locators for this so that I will discuss in the next tutorial as of now I have found one X path okay that is uh, X path for that edit a uh, text edit and I will type this I will show you this how I uh, completed this X path then I took one ID and using this ID uh, I'm clicking on that element and after 10 seconds I will quit this and before clicking this uh, directory I have wait of 5 seconds so now our APM is up and running so let me yeah so this is our APM this is my real device and let me keep this in a separate view not this one okay that's fine so let's run this program and let's see so this is my test and do not worry about the code code I already uploaded to my blog so uh, you will find the same article on my blog I will give this link in the video description so you can directly copy paste the code and try in your machine and just do some uh, practice from your end as well so, so same code which I am showing here it's already has been updated here so let's trigger this uh, right click run as Java application so you will notice APM will start some logs here in the left hand side and this is your real device so this app has been started okay it is asking to install this
so this test has been started and it will type uh, the exact text which you have mentioned so mukesh selenium apm then it will wait 5 seconds and then it will click on the directory yes it has been clicked and after 10 seconds it will close this so because we have given driver.quit as well just wait 10 seconds yeah closed so our test has been completed so whatever activity we have <coughs> sorry given in the code it has been completed so the only part uh, how I have written this X path and how I have um, written this ID so next part we'll discuss about the X path and detail how to find the locators and other things as of now just stick to this tutorial and um, we'll see you in the next tutorial how to write the X path IDs name and other stuff so hope we have completed the required actions that I have planned for this so if you have any doubt you can drop me an email and visit my blog for this more detail so if you find this video tutorialism uh, useful for you please subscribe to my channel and please share with others and if you are not able to uh, perform all these activities then I will prefer uh, please visit last three videos which I uploaded last week which will help you to install APM and uh, to run mobile uh, web applications in your device uh, that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching have a nice day bye